uh, start recording. So here we are with uh, playing Coach May, and uh, uh, looks pretty good. All right, so um, I was thinking to start out with King Spawn. What would you rather start out with? Uh, I'm a D4 player, but E4 is fine. Okay. I know a little bit about that. All right. I should just be done with you. So looks like he's going to do the uh, Carol Khan opening. That's the French. Oh, that's the French? Okay. So if he moves this up here, that's still the French? Uh, yeah, he's probably going to play D5 next. That's the normal French defense. Okay. Cool. Uh, I usually play the advance, so I would go D4. But it's been a long time since I did that. Scott used to play the French all the time, so. Okay. So and then I played the advanced, which is uh, you move the king spawn forward and you advance into their territory a little bit more. I like that idea. So how would you defend against that? With a, with a knight or a bishop? Or pawn. Yeah, I'd probably play c3. It can be a little annoying because it blocks the development of your knight a little bit, but I'd rather take that with the pawn and keep a pawn in the center. Okay. And take... Yeah, so he's fighting over that. Now, I think uh, knight f3 to cover the center because for the rest of the game, for a while, we're just going to be fighting over that d4 pawn. He's going to be trying to take it. And okay. want to try to do it. So I'm thinking uh, bishop e3 to reinforce that pawn some more. Okay, that's great. So now we have three pieces, four really. We have this pawn and the bishop and the knight and the... Oh, he took it. Yeah. So just take it with the bishop or take it with the knight. That's all. I kind of like the bishop because then you attack the queen, which seems like it might force him to take back with the knight, and then we can take back with the pawn. Okay. So take the bishop first, and then he'll take it with the knight, and we'll take with the pawn, and that, that keeps this corridor open. I like that idea a lot. I'm really into corridors. He didn't do it. So we can start, we can get this bishop out of here in castle, or we can get this knight out and start playing, or we can start advancing these pawns. What do you like to do at this point? Tell me what you're thinking. I know the wheels are turning. Okay. Um, well, I was looking at knight d2, knight d3. Oh, that actually would be a more complicated notation. But then I was thinking about trying to fianchetto our light squared bishop on the king side there. But I don't know how helpful that would be because it's just staring in the uh, black's d pawn. So, so you're thinking about this... Uh bishop going there and then we could pin this knight either take the knight or cause some kind of trouble no i want to i think i want to keep our bishops okay. uh fianchetto is when you put so like if we were going to fianchetto the light squared bishop we would play g3 right now and then our, on our next turn assuming they didn't uh you know make some kind of significant threat or something we have to respond to uh the light squared bishop to g2 and then castle, so it's right above the king, and it's in that nice corner looking all the way across the board when it opens up. Now, is that called the Indian defense? It can be. On the black, uh, when black plays it, on the king side, I think. Although that might be the modern defense. Maybe it's on the queen side. Okay. But if you just do it, I guess we'll say randomly, it's Fianchetto. It's just... Um, 
like a strategy, I guess. Okay. But I'm not sure that that's the the best move because it's because to really take advantage of that, we have to open up the board, and that's several several moves away. Yeah. I what are you thinking? Well, I don't know. I mean, a, a wild thing would be to move here and then there with a view of either taking that pawn or caught making it move it up, which would be kind of cool. Um, I don't know if that would be helpful or not. I was thinking of just moving these pawns up, you know, and then um, then we could just uh, move this pawn up here and, you know, make the knight move. I don't know how helpful that would be. Just keep going. Because then if we, if we move this up here, then the queen's going to have to move. And then we could open up these pawns and play around. I don't know. That's just I like moving the pawns up. I don't have a clear idea. Uh, I, I think really it would be good to castle. So really, I think this is probably the best move. Uh, now that Because I'm, I'm really liking this kind of defense, having the bishop here and then, uh, you know, castling. I think that's really good. Uh, that, that way I don't have to worry about the king so much and I have both the rooks out. I'd like to get the knight off the back row too. Yeah. Yeah, I think once we, if we castle king side, then pushing the pawns on the queen side is a, a better idea. I don't think we're so vulnerable. I agree. Go so, so, uh, yeah, I like g3. Okay. g3 it is. And. I shouldn't have missed that. I have done that so many times. Yep, me too. We can take it back or we can keep going. Well, if we don't do anything over there, he's going to take the rook. Well, we have to move the knight. We're going to move the knight. We're, if we move it here, he's going to take yeah, the that's... pawn uh, because it's a freebie. And then uh, then we can you know, get this out of the way and castle and then do something. Not sure why. But uh, we do, we can do something to get him out of there. But we have to move the knight. So if we move it there, if we move it here, it's, lo uh, it's lost. If we move Hold it on. There, Let's look at uh, our knight on d4, moving to b3. Can we trap the queen? I don't, I'm not sure that that works, because he can't, but maybe, because he can't go to a3 because of the knight on b1. You can't take the rook because of that knight covering that square. Both of the pawns are protected. You can't move to the C file. So the queen can't, I don't think the queen can move if we put it there. She's not under attack yet, but I don't think she can move. And then if we move here, we'd have the queen. Right? Yeah, that might work. Okay, let's do it. All right, so move this uh, bishop here. Yeah, I think so. I think so, yeah. How exciting yeah. is that? <laughs> you did it. You did it, Isaiah. I did not see that. <laughs> well, now we've got all of our pieces on the back row. Yeah. So that's going to suck. Yeah. We've got to figure that out. But we are up a queen for a rook now. Yeah, no kidding. Well, it's just, it, you know, it, when I get to this point, I just kind of trade pieces. So go ahead and just take this pawn, or should we advance the pawn? I would take it, get it back in the uh, center, and reinforce the E pawn. Yeah, I like that so a that's lot. That's not such true, though. Okay, so um, so if I, if I would probably move this up to take this knight, because um, I think knights are so powerful, they're insane. But, but you know, actually, you were talking about putting the, the bishop here and then castling. Ooh. Ooh, that's good, because it pins the knight to the rook there. Okay. At least I think it is. Maybe maybe they'll do something it won't be good, but that's... Okay. Right. Castle? Um, yeah, I like castling, yeah. I really like castling. All right, so here's a free pawn. I like to think of it, if we went here, then we could get that free pawn possibly. And there's also, this bishop is not protected. But that probably wouldn't last long. 
of course we you know might want to develop our so we could take this one here and you know th threaten that i mean i really want to keep our bishops on the board because it's so open okay. they have so much line of sight when everything is open all right so maybe they can here. um Yeah, I think I like that. Yeah, okay. I like that. All right. So he puts his rook there. Oh, that pawn is no longer a freebie. So look, if we. So his knight on, man, I wish I could draw arrows here. His knight on c6 yeah. is protected by the bishop and the knight. Yeah. If it was only protected by the bishop, yeah. then if we took the knight with our light squared bishop, yeah. then it would leave the rook unprotected. We're not threatening the rook right now. We don't have any attack on it. Uh, we can't magically move the knight. And I'm not sure I would like to get rid of that bishop anyway. Right. It is something to potentially look at. Um, make sure we don't miss it if maybe it just pops up. Because usually a bishop for a rook is what you want, but if that bishop is in an amazing spot, like it, I think is right now, I mean, it's looking all the way across that board. Sure. Well, we could take this knight up uh, with the possibility of going here next time. And then if we could go there, we could fork the, the king and the rook. I love doing that. Yeah, I think getting it off that back row for sure, for sure. I so like that, yeah. I think so, yeah. Okay, cool. All right. So he moves there against this bishop. And also mess up our pawns. I really don't like that, so. No, it sucks, yeah. So I'm thinking of moving yeah. here. Well, or, or here. If I move it down, I guess we have more power. Then we get to protect this pawn in case we want to do something else. You, you good with that? You already moved it. I think I was. I would have came to the. To where would you like it? No, that's fine. Okay. Are you? Are we playing with tape backs? Yeah. Um. Why not? Because it's a training well, game. So we, we can try one avenue, and then we can back up and try a d different avenue. The thing that I like about his knight being here is it, we only have two things, uh, two uh, items protected. So if we somehow were able to threaten this knight, he probably wouldn't take it because he would, well, he might take it. I don't know. I like moving the bishop down. I was just going to say that it, it might potentially block... Uh, like our movement in the future, but I don't think so. I don't think there's anything so right we want here. to go there. Yeah, I think that's fine. I like okay. that. Then he goes after that knight. That's it. So that's not really very exciting for him. So we could put this knight up here with a view of going right there next, which I think would be fantastic or whatever you'd like to do. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I wanted to just do... Um, here we go. Yeah, I think putting the knight up there on b5 is a good call. I like that. Okay. Because he can't protect that square. He just has to move it. Look at that. So now we get to fork the, the king and the, the rook. Do you see a better move? Um, oh dang. Oh, that'd be fine. So we go in there. Well, I'm wondering if we can throw in our bishop taking his knight on c6. I don't think we can, but that knight is just free right now. Yeah, it is. But, because it's a check, but if he moves, then you can't fork the knight anyway, so... Probably just go for the rook, yeah. 
Okay. All right. So we go here, and he does that against our rook. So we have to move our rook. We can only move it here. Oh, look at that. He's going to get our rook. How crazy is that? So okay. Gonna get our... Then... Huh? So he's going to get it anyway, so let's not move it. Um, what if we put our queen on c2? Because then we have the bishop and the queen attacking the knight. So if he takes the rook, then we take with the bishop and his check. Oh, I like it. And, and then we just take the bishop, so we get... I think we just get the knight and the bishop for a rook, which I'm okay with. Okay. But now we can move the rook out of the way, so I'm okay with that. Move it here? Or would you like to move it? I think that works on the C file. I think that's good. Yeah. Oh, look what he did. <laughs> that's okay. really good. I know so I'm now... Well, when he move, if he moves that knight, it's got a, a discovered attack on the queen. So I don't really want to keep our queen there. I don't either. So but. we can move here. Uh, if we want to, if we move here, we'd be threatening this pawn at some point, maybe. Let's see, we could, we can't move here or there. So we can't move either one of these places. So forget that. We could move it here, or there, or here. Oh, I'm I'm thinking about uh, queen to a four because that pins the knight to the king. But I think he's just going to move the his b pawn up and attack the queen. So then I'm thinking after that, what can we do if we were to do that? We just have to go back. But if we went here, then we would open this up to going here and playing around with these pawns. Potentially. If we were to take this, he'd probably put his bishop down. No, I think he'd take it with the knight. Oh, you do? Because of the power of discover check? I think so, but maybe not. I don't know. I think I like what you want to do on the king side, go after uh, her pawns over there. Like that? Okay. It's. Yeah, I think I like that. All right, here we go. Okay, why did you do that? It's giving us a free pawn. Well, if we take it with the bishop, then we stop protecting our pawn on b4. But That's the first queen, thing I see. But the queen's on the pawn. So we can come back. Right. Why did he do that? No. You're right, the queen's on the pawn. I don't know why. That's very odd. I think it's just a mistake. She's only 800. I think it's just a mistake. Okay. I think, well, I think we need to think about it, but I'm thinking we should just uh, take the knight on e7. That's what I'm thinking about. We could, or we could take this pawn, it's free, or just not worry about it. So take this uh, knight, and then if he takes, then, uh, if he takes that, then we could, we could put the queen here and put him in check, and depending on where he moved, we might be able to get his rook for free. 
because even if, if if she moved her bishop there, we would just take it and put him in check. So, well, I think if we go over there, they'll just push push the pawn down because it's covered by the bishop. So it blocks the check and attacks the queen, so she wants a tempo. Oh. Okay, so go ahead and take the knight then. I don't know, because if she takes back with the knight, then I don't think we've really done anything but trade. I don't want to keep well, thinking about it. Except we can go here and put him in check, can't we? Well, we just decided that she'll just move the pawn forward, right? And we don't like that. Oh, no, we don't like that. I forgot about that. Yeah, just to trade for nothing is no good. So just go ahead and take this pawn then and go from there. If we did take this knight... Hey, you know what? I I don't know if this is a good idea or not, but if we attacked his dark square bishop with our pawn on a3, his bishop is trapped. Completely trapped. I think. What, what's, what's to keep him from just taking this uh, pawn? Oh, see? That's why I said I think. Okay. <laughs> okay. See, that, I probably would have made that move and then lost the pawn. Okay. All right. But that um, makes me notice his bishop is protecting the knight by his, by his king. So I think probably just taking that pawn is a good call. All right. I think you're, right I think you're right. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, it's free. Or is it? Yeah, or is it? Okay. So, so I think it's free. <laughs> yeah, I think it's free, yeah. So now we have some good opportunities, I think. Um, we could move the queen here and then start putting pressure on that bishop, and that bishop would be uh, trapped at that point. Yeah, it still doesn't have anywhere good to move it yet. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, go ahead. I like that. I think that's good. Go here? Yeah, I think that's good. Okay. All right. All right, so the knight is come here, so this knight can go there. That's okay. Can go I don't here. think... Yeah. I was looking at the knight. I don't think it threatens anything, but it opens up the back door for that bishop. Now it can get out. Oh, that's right. But we have something cool we can do. We can, uh, we can take Are you this. looking at, huh? yeah. Yeah, I was, I was looking at that. Yeah, so you want to take that, because then that, and then if he. Yeah, because uh, then we have two things. We have our queen. If he takes with a pawn, we get a free pawn and put him in check. And if he doesn't do just the right thing, we'll get to take his uh, knight with our queen. Because we're going to be right there. So I'm pretty sure we're going to get two knights uh, for one bishop, maybe. I don't know. It's looking pretty good, though. So take it. Yeah, I think so. I'm not sure there's any way he can cover, up, cover that second knight anyway. Maybe. I'm getting pretty excited about this part. All right, so now go and put him in check. Yeah, I think so. I love it how you think. You you think a long time. All right. So we're going to put him in check. And he goes there. So we get the knight for free as far as I can tell. Well, 
I think uh, you're absolutely right. I think it's free. I just want to make sure there's nothing better. Well, that's true because we could take the knight here, and then we could start uh, walking him for you know checkmate. We could also put him in check here. I'm not sure. What that's what I'm looking at. Yeah. And then if we advance this pawn, then we would have him in checkmate here or there with the queen, one or the other. If we could get him to go there, then we could go here and we could uh, fork the king and the rook. That'd be fun. Yeah. Okay, okay. So put him in check with the bishop. What do you think? Yeah, I, I don't think that can go wrong. Okay. Yeah, he didn't do what I wanted to do. So we should just take the knight. Get that over with. Take it with the rook, though. We get another piece up there to attack his king with. I love that idea. Okay. Ooh, he might try to pin it, though, to the queen. No, what the heck is that? Actually, though, what... If, if we went here, if he didn't do anything, we could then go here, and when he moved his king, we can come back here and we get his rook for free. Or we could just go here and get a free pawn. I kind of like that idea too. Or... We could put this here and put him in check. Now the bishop takes it. Oh, shoot. All right. So we could go here and put him in check. Well, I'm thinking about um, queen d8 check. Right here? That's what I'm thinking about. Okay. Cause... And then we just move this up and trade for his rook. Because he's going to put his king, you know, one of these places here. Actually, he won't put I'm, it there. He'll put it I'm huh? thinking that we're forming a checkmate net, and we don't even have to take the rook. Okay. I can't see it though right now, but it's coming. So I think here. so. Uh, yeah, that's what I want to do. Yeah. Okay. I'm liking the idea. So put him in check here. Uh, so if we go here, he can't go down here. He can only move there or there. That's it. So then we could move this queen here. Man, it's going to be really close to checkmate. But if it's not... Ooh. We gotta remember that we still can't put the rook on c8 because the bishop will take it. I gotta remember that. So we could just go here and get rid of his rook, and we'd have queen, and then we'd have our, we just, if we just trade these other pieces, you know, it would basically be over. We start advancing a pawn, and then um, he'd have to trade something important for it. So we would basically be done with the game if we did that. I do that a lot. Yeah, you're right. I'm, I, uh... This has always been my problem, actually. It's, it's made me lose quite a few games, I think. I'm too aggressive. I like to just go and go and go. Well, <laughs> I like the idea. So put the rook here and get rid of his rook. and then. I, think that's, I think that's good, yeah. Okay. 
I did the wrong thing. I don't know what I did. Oh, no, I didn't do the wrong thing. Okay, great. So now we can go here, and I think it's going to be checkmate in, like, one move. And he brings the bishop back and covers that square. Oh, look what he did. What a naughty, naughty thing. Okay, that's fine. That's I think we should just start pushing that um, e-pawn. Sure. Because he, he can't move his dark squared bishop. <laughs> what could he do? Or, or he can and just lose it. Okay. <laughs> All right. Checkmate. <laughs> you see the little text box up there where she's talking? She said, I should, resi I should resign, but I won't. <laughs> I love how they talk up there. That's, yeah, that's cool. funny. Oh, that was fun.